is an exciting day in Goss today. It's a beautiful April morning. We are here and they are firing up three different stat mills. There's a lot of history attached with this mill and we are going to watch it with everyone else. We hear it's going to be loud, so hence my earplugs. Okay, here we go. couple things I didn't say, the ore, this, this ore has been crushed already down to two inch minus. The reason why they crush it down to two inch minus, the stamps only raise about three inches. You got a four inch piece, you'll never get it crushed. So that's why, and we'll talk more about that over there when we get to the America boy. But they crush it down, then it goes into the feeder box, and then into the mill. And what we'll do, we'll do a couple more drop the stamps so you can see how the, how the mill will do this. Now after 1820, Joshua Hendy actually patented a feeder which is what, like we have here, and he uh, basically revolutionized the, the mining industry in that they got an automatic feeder now that's one miner they didn't have to have doing a menial task. And of course, reliability of humans, the guy goes to sleep and there you go. So that's one of the things that Hendy did, that, that he did a real big favor for the miners. Now these things back then cost about $200. It was a lot of money, but it was less people. And if you're running a hundred stamp mill, you probably got ten people feeding the mills. So it, it really helped out a lot. So that was one of the good things. A ten stamp mill like that one over there, thirty-five thousand dollars is what it cost back in the 1800s to build that mill, put a building around it. That gives you an idea. So I'm going to go ahead and have the operators drop, the, drop and reset the stamps a couple times so you can see that, so you can see what they do. Go ahead. California they use a lot of uh, Pelton wheels, water, water power to run them. So uh, and then they went from there to gasoline engines and then electric motors finally. We're running this with a 10 horsepower motor which is more than enough. It takes about a horsepower and a half per stamp to run it to run it to run the mill. So this would be this would be three horsepower to run this mill. Also you need water wise you need at least four or five gallons per stamp to run it. I want you to have to go this is not a production mill. One of the things we try to do is recirculate the water. This, this mill does not use a whole lot of water, so this goes back into the ground. 
Most crushers run at 220 RPM. You see right there, 365 RPM. This is a screamer. And it flat goes through some material. It, it's not bashful about crushing ore up. So 10 horsepower motor, single phase, runs it, runs it really well. Okay, here we go. today we got to see three stamp mills in operation so that was a special thrill and as always thank you for following us on the desert way and we'll see you on our next adventure